वेलकम बैक टू न्यू एक्सरसाइज इन सॉलिड वर्क्स हेयर वी विल लर्न सम बेसिक शीट मेटल कमांड्स लाइक बेस फ्लैंज देन वी विल सी एज फ्लैंज देन वी विल सी हाउ टू यूज फोल्ड एंड अनफोल्ड टूल एंड इवन दो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज फॉर्मिंग टूल्स इन डिजाइन लाइब्रेरी देर इज अ फॉर्मिंग टूल्स हाउ टू यूज दिस ब्रिज लेंसेस टू क्रिएट दिस शेप लुक we will use forming tool to create this bridge lenses and also some basic features like extruded cut linear pattern and mirror so let's make this simple exercise in solid works with the help of sheet metal tool now in this exercise we are going to start with front view see this is our front view now let's check note first all dimensions in millimeters thickness 1 mm radius 1 mm inside radius is 1 mm now we will do it half and half portion and later we will mirror half portion so here width 25 half half width and uh, if you check the height 50 mm and how long we need to extrude see overall length 150 25 mm so first right bottom check unit it is millimeter so let's start before going to start right click on tabs go to tabs and here choose sheet metal that's it now click front view a sketch now activate line tool draw l shape right click escape or pr press escape key to exit activate is smart dimension this length 25 mm height 50 mm okay see now go to sheet metal and activate base flange tabs now look this is going this direction let's make reverse direction so see here direction 1 and condition make reverse length 125 look isometric but see it is going outside so here you will see sheet metal parameters thickness 1 mm reverse direction see it goes inside and the bend radius inside radius 1 mm bending allowance k factor this is we will keep as it is and relief hole i'll i'll say how much we will keep it is mentioned in drawing so let's keep as it is look now here you will see one more flange if you okay let's check this is the flatten view so this portion we need to make okay this portion how much here is written 24.5 from this end okay and here the gap from bottom it's 2 mm 24.75 2 mm gap so i'll activate age, age flange i am going to choose this one drag your mouse inside click somewhere near here come down use default radius and thickness 24.75 material it's outside you will see material here you will see outside see the length distance from this corner but there is material outside so similarly we will keep material outside we don't need any relief hole here so let's keep as it is say okay look Now let's make this cutouts. Sixteen, seven, nine point five from center line. See, this is the center line. At bottom, the same. Nineteen by two, it's nine point five. Height three point two, and there is one taper height also two millimeter, and sixteen millimeter this height, and this is going to cut. If you check. see there is a cut out 
3.4.5 inside so here also this cutout you will see easily see this portion so we will see how to make this click a sketch first activate center line and draw one center line see this is little out from this so this is origin point and just draw a line click line and check this is horizontal vertical that's it activate line tool and uh, let's start from somewhere here and click activate the smart dimension and let's uh, define the dimensions 16 millimeter this one 7 millimeter and this one 9.5 millimeter now again activate line tool come down okay now i'm going to start from this origin point to somewhere like here then this point something taper like this oh no this is vertical line again activate line up to this line and connect origin point and close geometry a smart dimension this is 19 by 2 it's 9.5 3.5 and the bottom one is 16 and if you check this by default 2 okay now this is going to cut so go to sheet metal and here option extruded cut end condition keep blind uncheck link thickness and depth 4.5 millimeter if you see look how this is going to cut let's check flatten view look now let's make some cutouts like uh, this cutout 12.5 by 22 and you will see okay distance from this end okay there is a flange so opposite of flange 22 16 millimeter 22 is the length 16 from bottom and here you will see symmetry this is the origin point if you see this corner point is actually origin so symmetry of this and uh, you will see here radius r1 so first we will unfold so choose unfold tool make this one base bend i'll choose this one say okay see this is flat only one what we need we only flat select this face sketch activates corner rectangle now 22 tap 12.5 enter okay now find out center point this is the center point of this rectangle hold shift origin point vertical see this comes in one line now distance 16 this is fully defined activate sketch fillet one millimeter and select whole rectangle say yes okay now see the rectangle is confirmed now go to sheet metal activate now here end condition click link to thickness because we want to cut only up to thickness no need to define the de depth see now now let's go to previous position so click fold if you choose fold see fix face already selected bending this is the bend choose okay look now let's move the next now here next is going to make a hole you will see at center there are four holes 25 millimeter away from center line 
center line means we are going to make half okay see distance between these two 63.5 from this end 28.5 12.5 is the diameter so let's unfold and this time i am going to choose this is as a base and here collect all bends no need to define one by one say all see now our hole going to make at this point so click this sketch circle now first hole is 12.5 enter enter escape key to out now hold shift key equal hole one more thing defined select both the point hold shift key vertical activate the smart dimension first these two center 63.5 now from here to this point 28.5 and uh, distance from this corner is 25 this is fully defined sketch go to sheet metal extrude cut and condition keep blind and check thickness so that we will cut only up to thickness say yes look now what we will do fold base selected collect all bend okay look that's it Now here the next thing is bridge lenses see there are six number of lenses three six bridges and this is forming tool you will see here in side view you will see here the side view and you will see this is like this shape and uh, this distance 37 uh, okay this is the center distance but from this side from outer of the thickness 28.75 and uh, from bottom it's 25 so design library go to design library and here you will find forming tools in forming tools you will find lenses bridge lenses so just drag bridge lenses to this face and leave now it is if you rotate mouse with this scroll you will see this is going inside so flip tool position activate smart dimension now from bottom edge it's 25 okay now from this outer edge it's 28.75 say okay okay now look now let's make three number of things so features linear pattern direction i am going to choose this straight line this is going to be our direction now feature this one three number of instances and the gap gap is between this 38 you will see look the three lenses is created further we will mirror it and we will make it now this is the body what we need now let's mirror this body click mirror now face so i am going to choose this face clear features we are going to directly choose body mirror to body see merge solid say okay now look let's go to sheet metal and activate flatten now look this is how we made this is the according to our drawing if you check uh, okay like this see holes lenses and everything now the everything is almost created now the bottom see this is the 
in opposite side this is the rectangle things going 32 9 mm from bottom edge there is two holes 3.2 and this distance center distance 19 and distance from bottom 4.5 there is a chamfer 3 point 3 by 3 chamfer and at this corner also there is chamfer 3 by 3 so that's it this is the last thing which is we need to make so rotate Activate edge flange, click bottom edge, down and this is inside. Now if you check here, see 1 millimeter thickness inside and one more thing, if you see bottom view, this is the ratio 1 by 1. So first we need to make shape, so click edit flange, look, drag, activate the center line and draw one construction line. Now select these three line along with construction line, make relation symmetric, that's it, activate circle tool, 3.2 enter. Now, hold shift key, select both the circle and this line, symmetric relation, see, if you choose symmetric means it's equal. Let's make first outer dimension 32, inner 19, from inside or from outside of the thickness 9. From here to this line, it's 4.5. See, this is fully defined sketch. Go to back and okay. <coughs> now here we don't need to change anything. Material thickness inside. If we choose inside, you will little slit here. And this is called custom relief type. It's rectangle and this is one by one, right? So I'll choose unchecked. Here write one is to one or if you choose useful relief ratio, directly write one. The both th things are same. Say okay. Look. Thick inside. Radius always by default what we took at the starting. Now click here corners, break corners, first is chamfer 3, Let's, let me choose this corner, this corner, this corner and this corner, say yes, look, real view. Let's save this one, exercise 140, click flatten view, okay, select this face, normal view and look, see this is how we use different tools and create this simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.